Konnichiwa YouTube is this heartbroken biker and today we are going to see two things I'm going to show off the new paint job on my wheels on my RN5 and as per request from few fans over there I'm going to show you the kanji symbols the Japanese kanji symbols on my bike uh, look at this location I just drove here off roaded to get here because they're constructing new roads over there and to get here my brand new tires not even run 1000 kilometers now has a hole in it it's a deep hole something punctured through it probably an iron rod or something like that the edge of the road damn okay let's get on with the vlog shall we hey shut up you bird my helmet my gloves my bag obviously you know this but here's the beauty that i wanted to show you guys the wheel paint job check this out there's red in the front blue in the rear kind of an electric blue in the rear and red in the front this is what i got done but how did i arrive at this how did i get this done what i did was first i took a picture of my bike it was a pretty old picture i did not really take it to do this but i took an old picture of my bike from the side angle and in the computer in the system i painted those wheels i painted first both red then i painted couple of other colors and then i liked the both red colors you know the front wheel and the rear wheel being red but then it was getting too common i've seen couple of charismas having that couple of extremes having that so i'm like no i'm not going to do this i'm going to do something different so i experimented with couple of colors and then finally came on to red front and the blue rear but how did i get this done but before we get into how did i get this done i'm going to say that this blue is inspired by my friend's bike shin abe who rides an r25 that's right guys it's not an r3 it's an r25 he lives in indonesia and he's a very regular at sentul race track so his bike has this kind of colors and his bike actually is pretty sexy with all the anime decals and all that his helmets too which he gets it done specially for him and i'm a big fan of that anime art i wish i could have it on my bike but but anyway we'll see first thing i would like to say that i did not remove these wheels i have two set of alloys that means i have an extra set of alloys so what i did was i first took those colors from the computer and went to dupont i went to dupont and i got the colors changed so this is not a cheap color this is a very expensive color or fairly expensive color i would say from dupont so i went to them i gave them the codes and i said listen i want these colors sorry guys we had some vlog interruption from two dugdugis the royal enfield So okay back to the vlog. Uh yeah they're trying some adventure which I generally do on my bike all over there. Oh please don't honk in my vlog. All right anyway, have some guts, grow some balls and go dude. It can definitely do my R15 can do fucking crazy like on this place. So they mixed me the color then I took to the air uh, airbrush painting guy and I got it done. So I'll show you the clips I'm showing you the clips probably if I'm editing this vlog. So that happened however I noticed that the Dupont guy did not mix my red color correctly if you see my actual painting in the computer versus this it's a little brighter red looks little uh, awkward but anyway I love the electric blue this is also fairly decent uh yeah so that's how I got it done then you have to dry these things up for quite some time it took me 2 days because the climate was a little weird there were showers of rain in summer so <laughs> that happened and uh, it took some time to dry it up and then finally got it fitted on the bike i got two coatings of red done on the front wheel and about one and a half coating let's say one coating plus couple of gaps being filled on the blue so let me know how this looks i think it looks fabulous wait a second hold on there's more do you guys notice these the mrfs on this being white just being white 
the Yamaha being white this on the engine all right and this the MRF Rev ZS on both sides here and just over there I don't know if you can see that was sketched by me I used a uh, sketch pen you find it on eBay it's a pretty cheap I think 180 bucks or something just find it on eBay you can sit clean your tire up and start sketching up and it looks pretty good so this is what I've done with my wheels guys if you loved this let me know in comments below and now for the second request and that is to see the kanji symbols on my motorcycle now the one which is very very easily visible is the one on my visor that says heartbroken biker let's zoom into that so this is heartbroken biker written in Japanese in kanji now this is actually spelled like this Hato Broken Baika So that's how you spell that thing in Japanese It's Hato Broken Baika Not Heartbroken Baika So Nani? Anata wa Baika desu ka? Sugoi desu ne? Okay so that's the kanji on the front visor of the bike However it's not a very simple kanji It actually costed me uh, more I can't remember how much but it costed me more than the one that is on my swing arm the one on my swing arm is almost 2x times the size but why did this one cost me more to make it I'll just show you the intricate details of this I'm hoping the lighting is enough for you guys to see it is not just written in white apart from white there is a freaking border that it has it has a border in black and to make a kanji this small text the border with black is a really really tough job it is you have to cut it very very nicely now look at this this came off due to washing continuous washing because i've got this done like almost two years ago so this came off while washing but then it lasted me long and this takes some skill and time so people do not want to really do this you know they'll just give you a white or a black but they do not really want to do a double texting with this thin so that is why it costed me more now let's look at the other request the one which is not visible very easily that is on my swing arm and let's see this this is again hato broken bike it's actually broken it's not even broken hato broken bike this is just the outline in white i did not get a full this thing i had to think a bit to you know see what looks beautiful I think the outline on black looks beautiful so just got the outline in huge this huge the front one is just this long but this one is huge uh, it covers all my swing arm so the request to show this kanji symbols was made by Rohan Malikarjun and somebody else I forget one or two more people I forget the names I'm sorry it the request has been there for a really long time in comments and I could only find your comments i'm sorry guys for whose comments i did not find but i hope you're happy that i showed it and if there is anything else on my motorcycle that you guys want to see then let me know in comments below there is also a lot of performance upgrades that are coming to my bike i bought those performance upgrades like about 1.5 years ago when i was backpacking a couple of countries in southeast asia and i've been a little lazy that i did not put up this upgrades the exhaust the kit for ECU and a lot of stuff that are coming on my bike so stay tuned you'll love it okay this is a new shit that has happened with my bike look at the scratches it's just recently last week um, I escaped a literal literal head-on that could have happened to me all the scratches I'm gonna talk about it in another video if you guys want to know about it let me know in comments below that is also on the roaster guys so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and reach me on Facebook and Instagram and as usual if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe because I make videos every week. This is Heartbroken Biker signing off for Sayonara.